One documentation error, one missed deviation, and your entire batch could be under regulatory scrutiny. Regulatory compliance isn't optional, it's your company's shield and the patient's safety net. Welcome to Pharma Guideline, your trusted source for everything GMP, regulatory affairs, and quality systems. Today, we are discussing a crucial topic. The eight most common regulatory compliance mistakes in the pharmaceutical industry and how to prevent them. Whether you are preparing for a US FDA audit, MHRA inspection, or WHO GMP certification, these insights will help you stay inspection ready. First and the most common mistake is incomplete or poor documentation. Documentation is the backbone of GMP. If it's not documented, it's not done. Common mistakes are Missing batch record entries Illegible handwriting Entries made after the fact Backdating data Real impact is an FDA 483 observation, a company received a citation for undocumented in-process checks, despite performing them. How to avoid it? Train staff in Alcoa Plus principles Implement real-time recording. Conduct periodic data integrity audits. Use electronic systems with audit trails where feasible. Second mistake is uncontrolled or poorly documented changes. Change without control is chaos. Common mistakes are Switching raw material suppliers without requalification. Modifying equipment without validation. Updating procedures without training. Now how to avoid it. Implement a robust change control procedure. Use risk assessments like FME and ICHQ9 guidelines. Involve cross-functional teams, QA, validation, engineering and production. Third mistake is incomplete training and records. GMP says, personnel must be qualified, not just once but continuously. Common mistakes are No documented evidence of training Outdated training matrices No effectiveness checks Solutions are Link training completion to job qualification Automate reminders for refresher training Maintain department-wise training matrices Perform periodic effectiveness assessments using quizzes or interviews. Fourth mistake is data integrity violations. Data integrity continues to be a top observation in US FDA warning letters. Violations include Deleting or overwriting data Shared login credentials Recording results on unofficial documents first Avoided by Implementing access controls and unique user IDs. Using validated systems with audit trails. Educating teams on 21 CFR Part 11 and Annex 11 expectations. Conducting frequent data integrity risk assessments. Fifth mistake is poor deviation management. A deviation ignored is a mistake repeated. Common mistakes are Superficial root cause analysis. Closing deviations without kappa. Repeat deviations from same cause. Best practices are. Investigate thoroughly using tools like Five Weiss and Ishikawa diagrams. Define corrective and preventive actions. Monitor kappa implementation and effectiveness. Include trending of deviations in monthly QA review. Sixth mistake is standard operating procedures are not aligned with practice. Standard operating procedures must reflect actual operations, not just theoretical ideals. Observed problems are Standard operating procedures are copied from other sites or old versions. Staff follow tribal knowledge instead of standard operating procedure. Standard operating procedure updates were not communicated properly. Avoid this by Reviewing standard operating procedures annually. 
involving operators and users in standard operating procedure writing. Conducting training and sign-off on revised standard operating procedures. Auditing real practices against standard operating procedure content. Seventh mistake is skipping internal audits. If you don't audit yourself, regulators will, and it won't be pretty. Common oversights are Delayed internal audit schedules Superficial audits without findings No follow-up on audit observations Ensure compliance by Creating a structured annual audit plan Assigning independent and trained auditors Including a checklist based on ICHQ10 and local GMP Logging observations with CAPA tracking the eighth mistake is lack of supplier qualification. Your product is only as good as your raw materials. Critical gaps are No initial or periodic audits of suppliers. Missing supplier quality agreements. No risk rating for vendors. Steps to fix this. Create a supplier qualification standard operating procedure. Audit all critical material suppliers. Categorize vendors based on risk. Use a supplier scorecard system to monitor performance. Conclusion and key takeaways of the video. Regulatory compliance isn't just about avoiding penalties. It's about ensuring product quality, patient safety, and business continuity. To recap, avoid these eight common mistakes. Incomplete documentation Uncontrolled changes Poor training records Data integrity violations Weak deviation handling Outdated or inaccurate standard operating procedures Skipping internal audits Neglecting supplier qualification If you found this guide valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Pharma Guideline. We are here to support your journey toward regulatory excellence. Have a question or topic you want covered next? Drop it in the comments, we read everyone. Join our membership plans to get member-specific videos and courses.